Welcome to Coronation Street. In uh, 1978, the street was shaken by a dramatic tragedy. Emily Bishop was widowed when her husband Ernest was shot dead in a wages snatch at the factory. Emily's working there now in Ernest's old job and uh, Elsie Tanner is divorced from Hatton Howard. Susie Birchall is back from London, living with her and working behind the bar at the Rovers. And Ina Sharples, the scourge of the street for so long, has gone back to St Anne's for the very last time. Brian and Gail are now Mr and Mrs Tilsley. I have a little boy called Nicky. Eddie Yates, Marion Willis are engaged. Len and Rita became foster parents and for some time shared their home with a teenager, Sharon Gaskell. Sharon has moved to Sheffield and she's taken a job as a kennel maid. Ken married Deirdre after Ray Langton left and uh, her marriage has hit a very stormy patch. Deirdre's turned to Mike Baldwin for comfort. And the question the whole country were asking was, will Deirdre leave Ken for Mike? The affair between Deirdre and Mike Baldwin is over. It will cast a permanent shadow over Ken's life. Mike's still stirring things up though. This time with plans to open a disco on Rosamond Street. Susie's husband, Terry Goodwin, has tracked her down to Elsie's and beaten her up. Fred G has brought Annie's car. And with the bank holiday dawning, he plans to take Bet out for a picnic. But the best laid plans. Terry held Susie prisoner until Elsie and Eddie came to the rescue. This time, when Terry was sent back and he went for good. There's a new caretaker at the community centre. A pompous ex-serviceman called Percy Sugden. The Tilsley's family have had a very bad few months. Bert was seriously injured in an accident in the Brian's garage and suffered a nervous breakdown. In desperate need for cash for the garage, Brian and Gail have sold their home and moved in with Ivy. And to add to Ivy's troubles, she's now been relieved of her supervisor's job at the factory. Number nine is occupied by the Duckworth family, Vera, Jack, and Terry. Eddie and Marion are married, while Emily Bishop has taken Curly Watts in as a lodger. Ken Barlow has sunk his redundancy money into the Weatherfield recorder, where he is now a partner. But for the Ogdens, it's a time for celebration, as they look forward to their ruby wedding. The shock news of Len's death stunned the street. Rita was absolutely devastated. But as usual, in times of crisis, the street residents rallied round to help her try to rebuild a shattered life. It was a tragic Christmas in the Fair Club household. But Sharon's return was a big help to Rita, as she faced up to a new year and a new life without Len. The factory unrest was set to everyone's satisfaction. Ivy's in particular. She got her supervisor's job back. And the streets said farewell to Eddie and Marion as they left for their new life in Bury. With this video, you've been able to relive some of the major events that happened in Coronation Street during 1983. Why not enjoy more highlights from the program's first 30 years by adding to your Coronation Street video collection? Why not take another nostalgic trip down the world's most famous street? Bye for now.